Good day children, Sai Ram. Welcome to our another session of Active English. Today we will be starting with a new chapter that is chapter 33 and 34. Children, now I will read some sentences. Who is your teacher? Who is your teacher? Where do you stay? Where do you stay? How will you go home? How will you go home? So these are the three sentences. Who is your teacher? Where do you stay? How will you go home? Children, all these sentences are question sentences. What are the sentences? They are the question sentences. Now, like who we are asking the question, who is your teacher? Where do you stay? How will you go home? Okay. Now, question sentences start with a special word called question words and end with a question mark. Question sentences start with special words called question words and end with a question mark. Different question words are used to ask different types of questions. Different question words are used to ask different types of questions. So, different question words like who, where, how. Okay. These are the different question words. They are used to ask different types of questions. So, today we are going to see the use of who and how to answer the question in short. Okay. Who is used to ask about people? Who is used to ask about people? Example, who is going to school? Example, who is going to school? Who is your best friend? Who is your best friend? Who is flying a kite? Who is flying a kite? Who is playing with a ball? Who is playing with a ball? So, who is used to ask about people? When is used? Who is used? Who is used to ask about people? For example, who is going to school? We ask, you know, who is going to school? Who is your best friend? Who is flying a kite? Who is playing with a ball? Okay. So, who is used to ask about people? Okay. So, we will see more examples of who and how to answer the question in short. Now look at these pictures. Okay. Now see here. Who has a green coat? Who has a green coat? Next one is. Who is knocking at the door? Who is knocking at the door? Now look at the picture. Who has a green coat? From these two pictures. Who has a green coat? Yes. Man. No. But how are you going to answer? You will answer the man has. How are you going to answer? The man has. In short you have to give the answer. You will not say the man has a green coat. In short you will answer the man has. Now in the question itself the word has has come. So answer also you will answer in has. The man has. Who has a green coat? The man has. Has. Okay. So the next one. Who is knocking at the door? Who is knocking at the door? Postman. Yes. How are you going to answer? Now in the question you see. Who is used? Who 
is is knocking at the door so answer when you are answering you are going to answer the postman is so the answer also will come in is the postman is so the first question who has a green coat the how we answered the man has because why we had use has because in the question itself has word has come okay so who has a green coat the man has second question who is knocking at the door so how we answer the postman is so in the question it is is so answer also you are going to use is the postman is okay next one again look at this picture who is playing with the ball you can see one boy and one girl now from these who is playing with the ball boy is playing or girl is playing and how are you going to answer see in the question what is there he is is there or has is there who is playing with the ball yes you are right the girl is the girl is who is playing with the ball the girl is you can see the girl is playing with the ball what is the boy doing he is studying so what who is then who is playing the girl is okay so who is playing with the ball the girl is next one who is treating the patient who is treating the patient next next question is who is crying who is crying so you can see the two pictures from these who is treating the patient yes the doctor is the doctor is who is treating the patient the doctor is who is crying who is crying yes the boy is the boy is who is crying the boy is who is treating the patient the doctor is who is crying the boy is next one who has a pink cap who has a pink cap who has a pink cap right the girl has the girl has who has a pink cap the girl has next example now you can see a picture so many so many uh, grandmother is there the man is there one boy is there one woman is there so what is the question who is looking out of the window so in this picture we can see so many so many persons so from this we have to find who is looking out of the window who is looking out of the window yes the man is the man is who is looking out of the window the man is very good we'll go to the next one who has a red dress who has a red dress now you can see one girl two boys now from these who has a red dress yes you all are right the girl has the girl has who has a red dress the girl has very good so children did you understand when to use who and how to answer in short very good so children now we are going to do the workbook activity so you are going to take your active english workbook open page 45 and be ready we are going to start with the workbook activity so let us start now answer the questions what is head question answer the questions who has a white dress first question is who has a white dress now here you can see the pictures now you have to observe the picture properly and then you have to answer the question who has a white dress now here the girl the girl is already given 
So now what are you going to write? Are you going to write is the girl is you are going to write or you are going to write girl has. See in the question what is there? Has. Who has a white dress? So the answer will be the girl has. Right. The girl has. Who has a white dress? The girl has. Very good. So the next question. Who has a car? Who has a car? So what are you going to write? The man has. Very good. So in the question also has what is there? Who has a car? The man has. Very good. Next question. Who is holding up his hand? Who is holding up his hand? You can see the policeman. Here what are you going to write? Is or has? Right. The policeman is. The policeman is. Who is holding up his hand? The policeman is. Next question. Who is driving the car? Who is driving the car? The man is. The man is. Who is driving the car? The man is. Next question. Who has a cap? Who has a cap? The policeman has. The policeman has. Who has a cap? The policeman has. Who is talking to the man? Who is talking to the man? The woman is. The woman is. Who is talking to the man? The woman is. Next one. Who is looking at the boat? Who is looking at the boat? The girl is. The girl is. Very good. Okay. So children, you are going to write the answers in your active English workbook. All the answers you are going to write neatly in your active English workbook. Now children, I will be giving you the homework. Okay. I should know now that you have understood the chapter very well. Right. So, I am going to give the question, uh, homework. What are you going to do? You are going to write this homework in your activity book. Now, see what is the homework? Look at the picture and answer the questions. Look at the picture and answer the questions. Who is running after the thief? And you are going to answer in short. Who is running after the thief? Next one. Who is climbing in the bus? Who is climbing in the bus? Number three. Who is writing on the board? Who is writing in the, on the board? And the fourth one is who has an umbrella? Who has an umbrella? So children, you are going to write this question plus answer in your activity book. So this is your homework. You have to write question plus answer. Okay. So children, we have ended with today's chapter. We will meet in the next period. Till then, do the given homework and complete your active English workbook. Bye. Have a good day.